I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Five Minutes Cantonese. 大家好，我是 Amanda， 欢迎收听五分钟广东话。After this lesson, you'll be able to say "It's none of your business" in Cantonese. Let's get started. First of all, how to say "business" in Cantonese? Well, I don't mean those business related to money. I mean those things you do or matter that relate to you. In Cantonese, it's pretty simple. So for matter, c, c. However, for the matter that related to someone, we need to add a verb, which is guan, guan. So for the things that related to you, how to say guan, and then you, nei. And then meta, c. So which means things related to you. Guan nei c. It can be good or bad. If it's bad, which means it's your fault. Okay. Guan nei c. So if we change the subject, for example, if it's related to me, right? Very easy. Guan ngo c. Guan ngo c. I am not responsible for that. It's not my responsibility. So, how to say the opposite? Like, it's not related to me, or it's not my fault. Um, 关我事，唔关我事，唔关我事。It's not his fault. So, for example, you know it's not his fault. You can say, "Um, 关佢事，唔关佢事。For example, when you enter the room, the vase is broken. It's very expensive, so you're very angry. You blame the others. It's nobody's fault. Nobody is responsible for that. How to say? Use the same pattern. Here, um, 关 and then someone, c. So in this case, we can use the word people, which is 人 Okay, 唔关人事，唔关人事。For all these sentences, we can change it to question form. For example, it's not my fault. You can say, "Is that my fault?" Something like that. But in Cantonese, we'll use the question word "what." Me, me. Pay attention here. We don't say me yet. We only say me. All right. So we put it in between related to me. So it's like this: 关我 and then what matter. 咩事？关我咩事？关我咩事 ？Since it's question form, remember the common ending, right? 啊、uh, ，关我咩事啊？关我咩事啊 ？So let's change the subject. Him, let's say. How to say? Right, very simple. 关佢咩事啊？关佢咩事啊 ？How about? Everybody, so it's not their fault. It's your fault. How to say? Right in question form. 关人咩事啊？关人咩事啊？ Pay attention. If you say this in a very calm way, 唔关你事 is not your fault. Okay. But if you say it in an angry way, it becomes it's none of your business. So it's not related to you. Something like that. Okay, 唔关你事，唔关你事 which means it's none of your business in an angry tone. Same as the question form. For example, if the situation is like your friend now he's blaming himself for breaking your vase. 
you know it's not his fault. So you can say it like this: 关你咩事啊？关你咩事啊？ However, if the situation is like someone is too nosy, keep asking for your private things, so you're a bit angry. So you can use this same sentence, but in an angry tone of voice. 关你咩事啊？关你咩事啊？ So pay attention. The meaning can be totally different. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more worksheets and supplementary audio exercise, please please support my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye bye. Hatsiki.